You know, Carly, we've already talked about sweet treats on the show, which we love talking about. We also need something to cheers with, maybe, so uh, <laughs> some adults can have some fun. Speaking of adults that are in a uh, festive gear, I'm told we've got a, uh, a Santa, maybe a Santa helper even with us today, coming to us from the St. Petersburg oh. Distillery. Stomach and all, Skip and Kristen are with us. Nice job. You need to have a beard, though, Skip. We're missing a little bit there. I see it in a box over there. I think that maybe I can grab it for you. <laughs> you can drink better without the beard, I'm assuming. All right. <laughs> All right. So, guys, tell us where you're at, by the way, St. Pete Distillery. And I think, you know, not, you're actually not at the distillery. You're at one of the pop-up shops. And I think for holiday gifting and stuff, too, people love to give local, right? They love to kind of, whether they're sending it somewhere or giving it somewhere, this is a, a fun holiday gift, I think, too. Yeah. So we're at a pop-up market store while our distillery goes through renovations. We are at 855 28th Street South. It is in the Angelo's Recycled Material property. But you can come here, pick up some alcohol, try some, get some fun holiday gifts. I and love it. Uh, speaking of fun holiday gifts, of course, maybe you are having to get together or you want to make it special for your family. You've got some drinks. And I always struggle with this because I'm always like, oh, it'd be great to have a mixed drink, but I don't even know where to begin. So I know you're keeping it simple for us with some great ideas. Where do we begin? Yeah, we got some fun cocktails. I'm going to start with the holiday sunset, which you can get at Doc Ford's. And uh, so let's skip takeover. Yeah, so the holiday sunset is actually at the Doc Ford's on the pier. And it's their new menu item. Um, it basically has our newest property, the old St. Pete Sunset Gin, uh, which you guys can probably see there. Mm -hmm. um, Sunset Gin is uh, all infused naturally with oranges. So it's still gin. It still has juniper on the front end. Um, but all the color, all the flavoring with that Sunset Gin comes from the botanicals that we put in there. So we're really proud of uh, the job that Clara, our assistant distiller, did on this one. Um, and the Holiday Sunset at Doc Ford's, it's two ounces of old St. Pete Sunset Gin. It also has a quarter ounce of peach schnapps, a half ounce of cranberry juice. You top it with ginger beer and lime and an orange wedge and a squeeze, and you garnish it with a mint leaf. Peach schnapps, that's something you don't hear about often. I like that you guys incorporated that. Yeah. Yeah, it lends a little bit of sweet to it. And, um, and that's actually something the team with Doc Ford's came up with, and we went over there and tried it, and they did an excellent job. Um, so much so they actually put it on their menu, and we're happy about that. <laughs> well, this is what I love is that so you guys are working with so many different restaurants and certainly other drinks that you can get kind of nationally uh, too. Absolutely. I mean, the second one that Kristen's going to make up for us is the uh, Chris Mapolitan. Um, and that is actually uh, in tune with uh, Miracle. So Miracle is uh, 80 bars globally are selected for this Miracle program. Um, and Intermezzo right down here, downtown St. Petersburg, is actually doing the Crispopolitan right now. And then a dollar from every drink that you buy at Intermezzo for this Crispopolitan, uh, a dollar goes to the St. Pete Free Clinic. So we're really happy to be a partner with them. Um, and they do, they do a great job over there. If, if you're going to drink, you might as well drink for good, right? I think so, right? <laughs> it's a win -win for, look at that. And the Cosmopolitan already has like a red cast to it. So how were you able to make it different there? It does. Well, what we do is we take the two ounces of the Banyan Reserve vodka. Banyan is our eight-time charcoal filtered, six-time distilled vodka. Um, it, excellent uh, wherever you want to do with the vodka, but it really works in this drink because you add it with a little bit of spiced cranberry sauce, like a homemade spiced cranberry oh. sauce. Half an ounce of lime juice, a quarter ounce of uh, Dolan Dry, and then quarter ounce of St. Allender. And St. Allender is uh, really important on this because it kind of lends itself to that Christmas element. Uh, you shake it up, you strain it into the absinthe rinse coupe, and it's garnished with rosemary. So not the mint on this Ooh. one. Huh. Very Christmassy. All right, we have just over probably a minute left. All right, great. We're gonna jump into the next drink. The next drink is something that uh, we kind of developed here at the distillery. It's called the New Year's Kiss. Um, and it uses our tropical gin. So it's actually a very fruit citrus forward tropical gin. Um, and we pair that with some Blue Rose Kombucha, um, which is excellent, uh, good for heart health, uh, probiotics. Um, and then also a half an ounce of pear syrup, and you just top that with champagne. So kind of a festive uh -huh. new year. Uh -huh. um, we probably only have 30 seconds left, so I'm going to make a really easy one. Our friends over at Punky's, who just had their five-year anniversary party, uh, they're featuring a $5 spiced oh. eggnog. And this is the easiest one for anybody to make at home. Four ounces of eggnog. You take a little bit of this beautiful old St. Pete Righteous Rum, and the old St. Pete Righteous Rum already has honey and cinnamon in it. Um, so it's very festive, and you just put as much of the rum in as you like. I like a double <laughs> it's kind of fun. You can, you can stir it up with a cinnamon stick, and then you have a nice little oh. garnish. Too. 
Well, the best part is all of these recipes going to be on our website too for people who need those. Guys, thank you so much. Happy holidays. Thank you for doing an eggnog one too, by the way. That may be may or not be a staple for our family Christmas Eve. So I love that you did that one. Cheers to you guys. All right. Thank you guys. Always a pleasure. All right. We look forward to seeing 2021. I do. I love the eggnog drinks. It's the only time I drink a lot of rum. My husband likes eggnog. I don't know. I can't get into it yet. Maybe I need to add something to it. (laughs) There you go. I was thinking it. I didn't say it. I love that you said it.